Hi, this is Bryce Haymond, and I am going to show you a little tutorial about how to do uh, a deboss effect in Illustrator. Um, this is pretty uh, easy to do in Photoshop. Um, if I switch over to Photoshop, you can see uh, just by adding an effect, um, either, either a bevel and emboss or an inner shadow, you can quickly um, get that effect with a bunch of options um, that makes it look like the text has been stamped into something. Um, but uh, not so easy when you're working in Vector in Illustrator and I've seen uh, a bunch of questions arise about this online so I went and, and uh, tried to figure out how to do this and it's, it's pretty easy um, to do this and I'm going to show you how. So first thing um, is we're going to make a box um, that we're going to stamp the letters into. Um, and this, this effect also uh, obviously works if you're trying to do like uh, an in, inner shadow uh, or uh, an inner bevel. It's all the same type of thing. Same type of effect. So we're going to write some text there. We're going to change it to be white. Um, that actually doesn't matter because what we're going to do next is we're going to create outlines of that, that lettering and then we're going to subtract it out of the shape behind it. So we're going to shift select the, uh, the rectangle behind it. Then we're going to bring up our, our pathfinder and we're going to do a minus front which is going to then subtract out the lettering from the uh, rectangle shape. And it's done. It doesn't look like it did anything obviously because uh, it didn't really change the way it looked but this is all now just one shape and the lettering is cut out of the block of blue. What you can do now though uh, is do a drop shadow on this block and since this lettering is cut out from the block it will show the drop shadow inside uh, these shapes. If you think about it as uh, cutting letters out of the inside of a, of a piece of paper or something of that sort and then holding it above, above a table uh, that's the effect that uh, we're going to get if we apply uh, a drop shadow. Turn on the preview. You can see there, uh, since these letters are cut out of the block, it's applying the drop shadow on the inside of these letters um, because they are cut out of the block. And we can adjust these parameters. We can make it, it bigger. We can adjust the blur, uh, we can change the color, if we want to make it uh, a dark blue and uh, we can change the opacity. If we don't want uh, quite a big uh, effect. I think I'm going to turn the uh, distance down a little bit as well as the, uh, the blur. And then I'm going to turn the opacity up and then hit OK. And there is the inner shadow or the deboss effect in Illustrator. Now you'll notice that we also get the typical drop shadow on the outside of the object too. If you don't like that then you can just draw a shape over the top uh, or copy the, uh, the outer shape and draw it over the top, uh, select the two shapes and then do a clipping mask which will then clip whatever is outside of the boundaries of that shape. So now we just have the uh, shadow on the inside of those those letters. So that's quickly how you can do an inner shadow or a deboss type of effect in Illustrator. Uh, in vector without uh, having to copy things into to Photoshop and, and go raster.